What's up everybody? Welcome back to That BS Guy and this is a very special video. I've been wanting to do this one for a little bit but uh, didn't really know where to start or where to, kind of how to, how to go about it but this video is about what skinny people or normal people or people who don't have who never have experienced being a large person understand or they, they just don't get it. Um, and so this video is 50% from my people <laughs> and 50% for education purposes for those people who just want to understand. So this would probably be a good video to share with your friends um, who may not quite understand why you're contemplating uh, getting bariatric surgery or maybe you're even trying to talk you out of it. I've had that happen. I did have that happen before. So here's, here's the bottom line. Okay, so to, to my people out there. My, my brothers and sisters of the larger variety. <laughs> I'm with you. I understand your pain. I understand that you are watching this video because one of three things is happening. A, you're thinking about getting a bariatric surgery, whether it be a, a, a vertical sleeve gastrectomy or a duodenal switch or a, sleeve, a gastric bypass uh, or a lap band. You know, or any type of variant of any of those in somewhere anywhere in between there. Okay, so you're watching this video because you're thinking about it, you know, and you're trying to figure out, man, is this right for me? I'm kind of nervous. I don't know, you know, how open people are about this kind of thing. There's a lot of stigma around it still, things of that nature. Or you're in a category of you've already been there. You know, now you're kind of going through it and you want to see if your experience kind of aligns with other people. Okay, um, love sh love sharing those experiences too. And then lastly, third, you've already been there, done that, and you're kind of seeing, you know, you're just kind of watching this newbie go through the process and maybe laughing at me in the, in the same time. So I understand, get some humor out of it, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> so for all of, for all of my people out there, um, just know that you know I can't speak for all of us. And so if there are is anything that I miss in today's video, please 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 feel free to. Write them down below, add on to them. Maybe we'll, that'll spark a part two to this video or what have you. So now I'm gonna switch focus here. Hello everybody who's not fat. <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> um, no, in all seriousness, um, thank you for, for sticking with us and, and uh, trying to understand what mentally is happening here and, and what what may not seem apparent to you um, is is very important to to, to us. Uh, I, I will say this, and, and like I said uh, previously, I'm, I can only speak for myself. Um, but you know, I'm sure that my experiences are not unique to just me. All right. So, with that being said, for those people who are watching that uh, you know might be of the more slender variety, or that you're sharing this to, or or, or whatever it may be, um, this message is for you. We know, we freaking know that we're big, okay? We know that, okay? So so first of all, you know, um, don't baby us. I'm gonna tell you right now, you know, we don't need your fitness advice. Unless we ask for it, we don't need it because I am guarantee you every one of us, every, every big person that's been watching this video or every person that's big out there knows how to lose weight. We do, why? Because we get freaking depressed and we go search for it on the internet. <laughs> WebMD or exercise sites or or even surgery sites. We literally have researched almost every piece of that. Because guess what? We don't like being big any more than people like seeing us big. You know? And you may be coming from a place of utmost sincerity and, and, and wanting to help out. It's like, oh I wanna see my friends be healthy. Kudos for you, but let me tell you, there's a fine line between being a support person and being someone who honestly knocks us down a peg. You know, giving me advice on, you know, on what type of meals I need to eat. Why are you telling me that? Did I ask you to tell me that? I mean, I know I'm big. I know that, you know, my meal intake is weird, or I know that, that my metabolism's out of whack, you know? But unless I'm asking you something, please keep it to yourself, man. Like, <laughs> uh, 
uh, you're, you're, you're really just not helping. You know, I know you're trying to be supportive, but just don't. Just don't. Um, that kind of unsolicited advice, um, you know, whatever you want to call it, fat splaining. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag that BS guy trademark. <laughs> but uh, if if you're <laughs> if you're thinking about educating, you know us big people about you know the the healthy way of doing it. Let me let me just be very clear with you. We appreciate how much you care, but you got to stop. You got to let us fail and get back up on our two feet. And sometimes I'm going to tell you right now, there is a point where some people of the larger variety um, give up because they don't feel like they have hope. That's where a lot of that support will come from is saying, well, what do you, what, instead of saying, maybe you should do this or do this, try this, you know, you know, cause it's all coming from a good place. I know that, but maybe instead of saying that, it's like, what would help you? What can I do to help you? Okay. Well, I mean, maybe, having somebody to, to motivate me to go to the gym, you know, or to, to kind of show me how to meal prep better and, you know, and, and actually do that. You know, if you're really serious about helping your big people friends, you know, and you're, you're a person that's able to help them in those varieties, those are ways to do it. Those are tangible things where you can get right into the trenches with them and be like, okay, this is going to suck. Okay. You're not going to be able to eat as much. Your, your stomach's stretched out. You're, you're gonna feel hungry, but you know what if you stick to these this meal plan or if if you prep your meals ahead of time this way You're gonna be okay, and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be a bad couple weeks, but you're gonna start losing losing weight um, For those people who want to lose weight naturally, you know with no surgical um, assistance, I guess you could say uh, That's you know, that's a good way to be that's a great way to be in fact that approach even for people who have bariatric surgery, as long as they're capable of doing the physical exercise and capable of eating the stuff that you do prepackage in a way, um, or prep, I should say, absolutely help them out, help us out. I, I know that it's it's always motivating to have people say, "Man, you're doing such a good job. I I love you know seeing the progress that you're making." Okay. Now I'm going to bring them to topic number two. Okay, and this is a big one, and this pertains to people who have made the decision to have bariatric surgery. So. It's not cheating. There I said it. <laughs> it's not cheating. Let me tell you why it's not cheating. It is not an I win button. Okay? It is by far not an I win button. I can tell you right now as someone who has lost weight naturally in the past. I mean, I got down to the weight I'm trying to get to in the past by working out crazy, by almost starving myself. Um, and it was a very, very uncomfortable thing. But you know what? I'm going to tell you right now, it was easier. It was easier diet-wise. Um, and I was much less restricted than what I am experiencing now. Does that mean what I'm complaining about now? No. Because the difference being is that be when I was, when I, pre-surgery, and I had to lose, you know, 80 to 85 pounds to get to a certain benchmark weight, um, it was quick and awful and unsustainable okay because the way my body physiologically speaking um i have horrible metabolism absolutely horrible like if i ate one meal out you know outside of my diet plan i would literally gain five pounds that's how fast it would happen my body just is built for nuclear winter i don't know <laughs> But, and the reason why I chose to have the surgery was to counteract that, was to overcome that genetic predisposition to just absorb everything, like 125% like gains, you know, <clears throat> it, it just wasn't working for me. And so now my metabolism, and because of the malabsorption factor of my surgery, I had the duodenal switch, by the way, um, equals me out to like a normal person. Like, I, I remember, I, I, just this last weekend, I was sitting, you know, having some dinner with some folks, and, you know, I was eating a little bit less than, like, one of the smallest little people there, you know, just a little petite girl, um, just, just kind of eating, eating her stuff, and I ate probably a little bit less than her, and I felt full, and I felt fine, I didn't feel out of place. You know, in fact, some of the other some of the other people helped me finish my plate. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I was like, oh wow, I'm contributing to 
to human unity by sharing food. <laughs> but what I'm getting at is, is that a lot of people think that as soon as you have that surgery, you just instantly drop weight. And that that's not untrue to a certain extent, but you only drop weight is if you follow the diet plan laid out for you and you're not breaking the rules. Okay? I guarantee you if you searched in uh, gastric sleeve fail or, or revision or anything along those lines into bariatric surgery in the search bar up there, you're going to find a bunch of stories of people who have had the surgery and for lack of a better term, failed the first time around. Okay? Um, and that's not because for lack of trying or anything like that, but there's, there's a whole second piece of this puzzle that a lot of people kind of forget. They think, oh, uh, you know, he had, uh, you know, a, a bariatric surgery, so he's just, you know, he's just going to lose weight no matter what he does. Like, no, it's, <laughs> it's definitely not true. If I didn't follow the plan, I would not lose a pound. I have to follow the plan. Okay, and my plan is pretty meticulous. If you if you have ever made fun of one of those keto diet people, <laughs> you know, talking about their macros and all this other stuff, then you know, honestly, the way my diet's working, it's pretty much in line with that. I don't pay attention. I don't weigh my food. I don't do the macro thing. Whatever, you know, that's that's them. That's those are the people trying to get cut, you know. But for me, you know, it's just about getting myself. To the low, to a, to a lower weight, to a normal person's weight. Okay, so you know, if you have a friend who has taken the dive to change their entire structure of their body, to, to change their entire life for a better life, don't tell them they cheated. If anything, they cheated death. You know, like they they could possibly die 20, 30 years younger than you. Okay, so cut them some slack. They're trying. They're actually putting their money where their mouth is, putting that effort into it. <clears throat> it's not an easy step. It's not an easy thing. And, and if you think that everybody around that person is supportive, you are wrong. Absolutely wrong. Definitely have had people say, you need to do it the natural way. That's just cheating. Or, you know, I really love to see you do, do, it, do it a different way. Um, or that, you know, I don't think that's healthy, you know, but it's our body. You know, it's it's the way it's the way to fix a genetic predisposition and, and also bad habits. You know, plainly put, uh, to my to my to my brethren out there who are watching this, you know as well as I do. You know, uh, our bad habits contributed to our weight. You know, we have to own that. Okay, so if you're thinking about having the surgery, you know, it's not going to be like you don't want to eat a hamburger. You know. You, you, I mean, I could eat a bit of a hamburger, like, but I can't finish it. Absolutely not, you know. And I might even only eat it with like one bun, because <laughs> all that extra bun just fills, you know, takes up space. Um, you know, we can't, well, you shouldn't be, but we can't drink 30 minutes before, 30 minutes after we eat. I mean, or during a meal. You know, how many, how many sodas do you drink right now? random person who's not had surgery <laughs> how many sodas or waters or whatever do you drink during meals one two maybe three four who knows do you drink beer at all could you give that up could you give up sodas period there's a lot of things that you have to take in consideration when you go do this surgery if you're gonna do it right you know dropping all that sugar Dropping the carbonated drinks, staying away from carbohydrates, definitely avoiding simple carbohydrates. If you're a chocolate person, if you're a sweets person, this is a horrible thing to go through. Okay, luckily I wasn't one of those. I'm more of a barbecue potato chips type guy. <laughs> but ultimately, uh, it is what it is. Now, the, the very last thing I'll say to, to kind of convey one of the stigmas out there that... Uh, that I've experienced and, in, in, you know, it, it kind of, it kind of sucks is that, uh, is that that judgment, that judgment look, as soon as someone, as soon as you tell somebody that, you know, that you had to have surgery or that you chose to have a surgery, you know, um, this more or less happens in the dating realm rather than just within the friendship realm. Where, you know, sometimes it might come down to like, oh, you know, you had to have weight loss surgery um, 
and I don't know you may look better now or you may look good now to me but you know that means you're gonna pop me out some fat kids or something along that line you know uh, these are some deeper thoughts mind you or or whatever it may be um, but you know those are those are things that you can kind of see when people kind of are shifting particularly when you're in your 30s or you're around somebody who might want to have kids you know um, that's a thought that them sometimes goes through their head and we have to acknowledge that and what I recommend my people out there do not lie do not lie on who you are and what you've done okay that that a lie will always end up blowing up in your face ten times worse than um, than owning what you've done um, if someone really loves you for who you are and you know whatever it may be they will they will do that they will they will be with you and the more the point you know your metabolism might not, might not be the one that your kids get you know if you marry someone who is naturally slender you know that that will hopefully carry on to the to the person of the next generation so you never know you never know who you know what what the what the what the next step is that way but I wanted to make this video to kind of clarify a couple things um, in regard to certain responses that we have gotten as, as a big person um, and how how you you other people can help us and help your friends um, and for family members or what have you be successful in this surgery a lot of it has to do with support that is warranted and support that is offered but it is not uh, forced okay that's a very big thing um, knowing that the effort and uh, a lot of lifestyle changes have to take place after surgery. I mean, like I said before, it is not an I win button by any stretch of the imagination. If you think that, you know, this surgery just makes things easy, you are not paying attention to anybody's YouTube videos. Because uh, while I, I like to be on the more optimistic side, you can definitely find some other, other people out there that are like, this sucks, I regret it, I miss, I would rather be big than do, than do this blah 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 and you know what um, they can have their own opinions I'm not saying that their opinions wrong but what I will say is that it is tough it is tough and if you think that this is just a, a simple step you can handle it you know it's just gonna be like a breeze you're wrong and for the rest of you who are watching help your friends out you know they they may not have a good grasp on the diet stuff you know that, that they may be really struggling with that they may be e eating inappropriate things uh, or pushing themselves too hard or not eating at all you know we have to encourage each other and, and build each other up this these surgeries are no joke okay so take it from me that uh, the majority of people that I have met are supporters and uh, do support uh, my journey uh, and would support anybody's journey because they're just genuinely good people because I don't hang out with trash um, <laughs> but on the uh, the last thing I will say is that understanding the perspective and understanding the struggles really helps put things uh, in focus and and will allow everybody to be successful all right so uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this video um, if you liked the discussion today uh, feel free to uh, like and subscribe that the subscribing is the biggest the biggest piece here and if you noticed my uh, my locale is a little different today and the lighting's a bit different today. It's because I am actually at my great grandfather's house. I'm helping him do set up, you know, to sell his home. So we had to sort through a lot of boxes and things like that just to kind of get things ready for an estate sale this uh, later later next month. So that's why I'm here. Um, and uh, I'll be back in my normal digs uh, next week. So uh, look forward to seeing you all then. Once again, subscribe if you haven't. Those if you have subscribed, thank you very much. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.